Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and in today's video, we are learning how to sublimate tumblers in a convection oven. This is one of the most popular sublimation tutorials on my blog, so it's about time I made a video for it. Today I'm using my JTrans sublimation oven, which I got at Heat Transfer Warehouse, but you can use any convection oven or even air fryer, as long as you have set it aside for sublimation. You can't use the one in your house um, because the sublimation creates fumes, but you can buy a smaller, um, less expensive sublimation oven if you'd like, just a little convection oven, um, and that will work as well. Today I'm gonna show you how to use this one, but using any other brand would be very similar. Now, why would you want to use a convection oven instead of a tumbler press? Well, one might be that you only have a convection oven and you don't have a tumbler press. That is obviously a great reason. Um, I like the sublimation oven because you can do all sorts of different sized projects using um, special shrink wrap, and tumblers happen to be one of those. I'm starting with tumblers, but stay tuned for more videos with other types of blanks. But in this video, we are making tumblers. So here are two examples that I have made using my oven. One is watermelons, one is um, lemons, and then in today, following this fruit theme, we are going to make, um, I think they're mandarin oranges or satsumas or something. Um, we are gonna make those on this blank tumbler here. So let's look at everything we're gonna need. So obviously we are going to need a sublimation ready tumbler. So this one has the coating on it already. This is a PYD Life tumbler. I really love it. Um, and you're gonna wanna take off the lid and the straw. Then next, you're going to need alcohol and a wipe. You can also use a lint roller, but I prefer the alcohol um, just because I think it does a better job of cleaning off fingerprints. So let's go ahead and clean our um, tumbler blank here. That way it'll give it a second to dry as I tell you what else we need. You're also going to need your sublimation transfer. So I've printed out this transfer on my Sawgrass SG500. If you have an Epson, you can use that as well. Um, it's pretty cute. I think it's going to go nicely with the little fruit theme I have going for these tumblers. Um, so I got this image off Etsy and I will link to that as well. Because a sublimation oven doesn't offer the pressure of a press, we're going to use um, a specialty shrink wrap. So this is what this looks like for these tumblers. Um, this comes in a variety of sizes for different types of blanks, but this is the tumbler, 20 ounce tumbler size, and it's basically a shrink wrap. And when we put the tumbler in the oven, this is gonna go and basically like shrink to the size of the tumbler and provide the pressure that you would get from a press. Now, I don't use a heat gun. A lot of people use a heat gun. So basically they'll put, once you get the design on here, um, people will use a heat gun to basically um, pre-shrink this to the tumbler. I have found I don't actually need that step. I have a heat gun, but I just don't need it. So you may wanna try it without. If for some reason you feel like you're not getting the results you want, you can try a heat gun, which is basically you'll put the shrink wrap on and then you'll hit it with the heat gun so it shrinks. But this stuff shrinks fast. So I mean, it's in there for maybe five seconds and it's really tight on there and I haven't found that um, heat gun to be a necessary step. You're also going to need heat resistant tape to tape your um, image to your tumbler. I like PYD Life's uh, sublimation tape. Cricut's sublimation tape is good. Don't get the yellow stuff. I feel like it leaves yellow marks on your um, blank, so stick with the blue tape. I also have a fancy tape dispenser. Um, I will link to it in the description below. It just helps because then I don't have to cut individual pieces of tape. You're also gonna need a pair of heat resistant gloves because when this comes out of the oven, it's gonna be burn your fingerprints off hot and you don't wanna hurt yourself. And then you're gonna want some sort of heat resistant surface to set your hot tumbler on. This is just an easy press mat. You can use anything. Um, I just wanna make sure that you don't burn your table. And then finally, optionally, you can use a Nomex pad. I really like the Nomex pad um, as a base in my convection oven. So basically I'm gonna slide this in there on top of that top rack um, and that way when I'm pressing my um, tumbler it will just lay on this much nicer piece of felt than the actual rack and that helps protect your project from having any sort of like a grill marks on it which you definitely don't want. Before we tape our image to our blank let's go ahead and set the oven. When you first plug it in the temperature is going to be blinking and you can set that here with this dial. For the J-Trans this only comes in Celsius um, so you'll have to do some conversions, but 195 is about 385, which is a good temperature for sublimating. And then this dial over here changes the time. For these, we need six minutes, so I'll go ahead and uh, scroll here to get to six minutes. It is quite loud with the beep. There are some other options over here, and I go into those in my other video, which I will link to. So to start, let's go ahead and put that Nomex pad here in the oven. Okay, this is getting very hot. Then we'll go ahead and let this heat up. Now it's time to tape our image to our tumbler. Um, I have a whole video on how to tape a tumbler. I'll go through it pretty quickly here, but if you want a more detailed view of this, you can go watch that video. I've already cut my image down to size, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap it around here, and then I'm going to start with one piece of tape here across the center, pulling it as tight as I can. So you can see here my single piece of tape. Now I'm gonna add a several other pieces of tape going up and down this seam here, trying to hold this as tight as possible. 
You can see that I have all of my tape down the side here. Now I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the top and the bottom. I like to start from away from the seam with my tape and wrap toward the um, seam here. That way if there's any air, it kind of gets pressed out toward the seam. And then you wanna basically press those two seams together and again, hold it as tight as possible. And then you can press the tape all the way in here, just like this. My secret tip to help prevent ghosting at the top and bottom is to then rub your tumbler on your table. Um, this does leave marks in your table, so you wanna make sure you're using a table that you don't mind. Mine is just absolutely full of <laughs> marks from doing this. But basically, you wanna really press that image into the tumbler. So basically, you just wanna do this until you feel like you don't see any gaps between the paper and the tumbler. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom. Again, start in the back work your way forward. And then again, use your thumbs to really press um, that tape and the transfer into the bottom edge of your tumbler. All right, and then again, just rub this into the table just like this. Now finally, I'm gonna run one long piece of tape over the seam, just like this. All right, that is my method for taping tumblers. Again, that rolling on the table trick really helps to decrease any ghosting at the top and bottom. Now I'm going to put my tumbler into the shrink wrap. So pretty easy, just open it up and slide it right on. Now, like I said, a lot of people like to use a heat gun at this point. I have never found it necessary. Um, I feel like I get a really good transfer because this shrink wrap works fast. So it's maybe five seconds in there where it doesn't have the full pressure of the shrink wrap um, and taking the time to hit it with a heat gun is just, I don't have time for that. So I recommend trying it without the heat gun first just to do a test. If that works for you, then there's no need to buy a heat gun and take that time. Um, save yourself some money and some time. All right, my oven is to temperature, so I'm going to go ahead and put my wrapped um, tumbler here in the oven. I like to use my heat resistant glove um, just because this is very hot and I don't wanna burn myself. So get that in there and you can see right away how much that um, shrink wrap is starting to shrink. All right, now it's going to count down and in six minutes I'll be back to remove it. All right, we can pull it out. Again, very hot. One of the tricks to using shrink wrap is to remove it right away. If you let it sit, it can actually stick to your project and it becomes really difficult to remove. So, heat resistant gloves, and you can go ahead and then just tear it off. It can get a little bit tricky, so if you're having a hard time, you can use a craft knife. Um, I'm always afraid of cutting onto my tumbler, so I try to avoid it, but you can just you know cut a little slit if you need it. Okay, so I have the shrink off. You can go ahead and let this cool. I'm a little impatient and I'd like to get to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my gloves here to um, start unwrapping everything. All right, it has cooled. I've removed the transfer and what do you think? It looks so good, right? I just love it. I really like this transfer. It's very fun for summer. Um, I will go ahead and link to it in the description below from Etsy. So there you have it. That's how we sublimate tumblers in a convection oven using shrink wrap. There are also silicone wraps, which I'm not a big fan of. I've not been able to get them to work very well. They can make them for tumblers and mugs and some other things, but I really do prefer that shrink wrap. I just think it works so much better. If you have any questions about sublimating a tumbler in a convection oven, just leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. If you liked this video or found it inspiring, go ahead and give this video a like. If you want more sublimation content, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week.